Hello, I hope everybody is doing well. Okay, um, before I start getting started, hello Tia. Before I get started, um, I'll start doing some like quick plugging and then I'll just jump right into this bitch. So tomorrow, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I will be doing the unboxing here for Sawyer's Path, a tarot journey by uh, Jamie Sawyer. I have seen this deck a few times with other tarot readers and I've always just, I really like the artwork and it's, um, I don't know, it's just something about it. I'm just drawn to it. Like I feel like I, I saw it from day one and I just felt like I needed this deck. Like it, like it was calling to me. And I knew it was like somewhere like on Etsy or whatever, but for whatever reason, like I was just like, whatever. I just never got around to it. I couldn't find it, whatever. And then I finally saw it and I was like, I just had to give it, like, give me all, like, just take my money. Just take my money. And then um, she sent a really nice little thank you. And uh, she just released the Sawyer's Menard. And she gave one card as an example, which is to Clover. I think it's for $22. And um, I'll probably get it. I'll probably get it. But of course I wanna see this deck first, which I'm sure I'll probably, you know, I will. And then, um, actually I'm gonna leave like that it's very important to have that out there and then um you know she sent the thing for to download the guidebook or whatever if i want to which i probably will just look at but i have 10 times i always go by my own thing but i always like to read some of that shit okay and then thursday the 8th seven o'clock pacific standard time um on youtube i will go live and doing the unboxing for moon power tarot i've always admired this person's artwork, um, like, you know, like those vice columns, you know, like the vice TV show, the vice columns that you see like all over. Um, they, the astrology section, the artwork is by Charles Quintero. And so I've seen this art, this deck and it's a little bit pricey, but I finally, I saw it on sale and it was at a reasonable price where it's like white knuckling for me to pay for it. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, I better get it. I feel like I had to, so yas. Okay. So enough of that shit. So we are here tonight for the Clow. This is an anime tarot deck. Um, I got this off of eBay. I think it's used. Um, it probably is. But I know there's different variations of the deck or whatnot, but I was just like, I, you know, I just figured, cause there were so many of them, I figured it was probably a knockoff. So I figured just not to invest too much money into it, which I've seen them on like on eBay for like eight bucks to like, like 11 or 12 bucks. You know what I mean? So it's one of those like, but I thought it'd be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead it doesn't come with a manual or anything, so interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead, okay. This is the back of the deck. Okay, so the first card is, it's Shakira, the cloud deck. Okay, so the first one is the storm. Okay, the storm. And then we have the nothing. And then the bubbles. The fiery. the arrow, 
the voice. This is all gonna be my intuition because I have no idea. What the fuck? I don't know if the, okay, this is actually printed on, but this is so fucking weird. Okay, I'll show you an example. Okay, so look at, okay, so for an example, look, the arrow, look how the print is, okay? And then, hello, and then look at the voice and the lettering, look how that is, right? It's the same, right? completely fucking different. It looks like it's a fucking marky, like a marker, right? It looks like a fucking marker, but it's not. It's not a marker. It's actually printed on, but it's like scribbled in. Like what the fuck, man? Okay. Alrighty then, then we have the fight. The flower. The dream. The dash, the original rainbow dash, I guess. <laughs> and then the float. The maze. Yeah, this deck is hella fucking weird. And there's no like booklet, so. The through. Like, no joke. It says the through. What the fuck, man? The hope. It's like, it's like that website where it's like, um, English or whatever, where it's like, uh, the signs are badly translated. The mist. The sword. The illusion. The loop. The change, the wave, the move. Yeah, I'm totally gonna have to guess and go by intuition because I have no idea. Like the little, like the Libra. The snow, the lock, the windy, Jesus Christ, okay, the twin, okay, Gemini, the power, okay, Look at the shadow and tell me what does that remind you of? What does this shadow look like? You can't even see its face. You can't even see its hands. It's like a gaping hole with the hood. Looks like a vagina. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I thought it was a fucking vagina at first. It's a vagina. God, you have deep God, this is so weird. Okay. Um, the song. The glow. The watery. The freeze. 
the light. The create. The sweet. The jump. Hi. The shield. The big. The silent. The sleep. The rain. The erase. The shot. The time, which it's like the hermit. The return. The fly. The earthy. Sakura. That is really I'm Okay, I'm just gonna point out that is really weird that all the other figures just look like this kind of like this basic pink bitch or basic paint figure, you know, with has like little to no color. And then this bitch is anime and she's a little girl. Just kind of pointing out that's a little bit creepy. Just pointing it out. Cause really that was the only bitch that has fucking color. That yeah, is the only one that has color. All the other ones are like pink people, which is fucking weird. See, the wood, pink person. Okay, the thunder, pink thing. The cloud. The mirror. The sand. And the dark. Okay, so this is completely, totally random bullshit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead I don't have the booklet and never came with one, so I am just gonna go ahead and do my thing. Just go by intuition. But this deck is fucking weird. I'm happy that I only paid like eight bucks or whatever for it. Because if I paid any more money, I'd be pissed. But then again, I had no knowledge of this deck. And I knew it's probably just kind of like my Sailor Moon Major Arcana, where it's just kind of like, you have to be a fan and kind of like it, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a general collective reading for everybody in the room. So everybody that's um, in the Instagram room and anybody that will be watching in the next 24 hours, this is for Instagram people only. What messages do we have? overall feel we have the voice reverse some of you are not able to speak up you're clouding your thoughts it's like you keep on making excuses or behavior or you're denying something when the truth is really out there or the truth really needs to be It's like you're trying to speak, but it's like you lose your voice. And like it turns into a whisper. 
Or if you try to speak up, it's like you're put down like you're nothing. There's a lot of sadness. Some of you may have been victimized in some way where you're unable to speak out because you're afraid of a backlash. Needing to shield yourself. But you have to speak up even when your voice shakes. And that is one of the most scariest things ever to do. I've had to do it. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we have the through reverse. So some of you aren't able to move forward. You're kind of stuck at an impasse. There's a lot of that shit on here. So here's what's shitty about you guys. It's like, it's not only that you can't speak up, but it's like, the good thing is, is that you're almost out of this fucking maze. That's the thing. You have, like, once you speak up, like, then you can get out of the maze. I know you like to think like you're a paradox, that you're unfixable, or it just leads to a lot of dead ends. You're able to get out of the maze. It may take you longer the slowest, but the best way to move out of the maze, it's like the page of pet, like it's uh, what like the King of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles would do, um, or the Queen, is that you would hold your hand against the wall and you would go by the wall only. So you don't lose track, you just follow one side of the wall, which will take you fucking forever, but you will get out of that maze and you're not going in circles. We have the dream reverse. So because you feel like you're stuck in this maze, like you can't move forward. It's like, you can't speak up. You feel like you're trapped. I feel like some of you, I don't know, somebody's like stuck in like a domestic dispute where you can't leave the house. Some of you may be like stuck like living at your parents' house or you're stuck at living back at your hometown. You know, like you're, you're, it's like a step down from what you were at and you just kind of feel like, uh, you kind of feel like you're like a loser, which you're not, you know? But with the dreamer verse, it's like because of those things, you feel like it's like you can't accomplish, like you can't accomplish anything but you're never going to be able to live your dream if you don't speak up. Because the thing is, it's like you always have your shield up. Your shields are always up. So it's like anything that kind of comes, like there's many opportunities, but you shut them down. And you're not willing to go after a dream because you're, you're afraid to put yourself out there. So it's easier to put your shield up and be like the motherfucking time and be like a hermit and just close yourself off. And granted, working on yourself is good. There's nothing wrong with that. 
but how you expect to have opportunities, how you expect to live up to your dream if you're always defensive. And because of it, see, here you are, because you're fucking defensive. Okay, you're a fucking loner, all right? You're doing your own thing, right? Looks like he's flying, right? And then you're the freeze. You're a motherfucking free, like you freeze people out. This is combo of like fucking salty, bitter as fuck. Like that bitch Karen, the one with the short hair, with the bleach blonde that always wants to speak to a manager. It's like that shit. Okay, let me go ahead and try to do another reading. These cards are weird. Um, so this is a general collective reading for everybody. So the bottom of the deck is we have change reverse. You're unable to move forward. See, follow, follow by the move reverse, okay? You can't change, you can't move forward. You're still stuck in the fucking past. Holy shit, you guys. See, here's the good thing is the main card that popped out was glow. You guys are transforming though. That's the thing. It's like you guys are transforming. It's like you're like afraid for the full on change. You've been doing some inner self, you know, work. You've been like, you know, you're getting like, you're like, you're growing your hair out. You're getting your hair done. You're getting your nails done. Like you're getting a new outfit. Like, it's like new, like new you, new, like new me, just everything. Some of you may have gotten a new job, but there's like this new glow, this abundance. Hold on one moment. I'm going to go ahead and put this out. Sorry. Okay. So there's like this new change that you have coming for you. And it's like, it's like, you know that there's good things coming for you because you, you feel it, but whatever it is, you're afraid to move forward. You're afraid of this big change. It's like, you're almost there. This is like step one, but then like, you're afraid to go to step two so you can advance up. So some of you have been kind of like radio silent. You may have like con completely like cut somebody off or you may have just been kind of off social media, just kind of going off the grid for a bit, just focusing on you. And with the shot, you decided that there's, a, there's, there's gonna be a chance, an opportunity that's gonna be coming your way. This is gonna be sudden, like it's gonna be like out of the blue, like it's gonna come in. But the thing is, it's like this, it's like, it's gonna come through, like you're gonna receive a message really quick and then it's gonna take fucking forever to get there with the dash reverse. So it's like something, it's like somebody makes a quick appearance like they make their presence known, like they're in town or they're at a certain hangout and then like you never, and then like you don't hear from them. And we have the sand. I'm kind of getting like, this is like the temperance card. Like you need to find the balance within yourself. So you've got the part one down where it's like, okay, you're making yourself up. But now you gotta really dig deep within yourself and learn to love yourself and value yourself. 
And then once you do, you're gonna be able to jump to any opportunity that comes your way. That was an interesting deck. Interesting. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of more readings. Um, and then I gotta finish fire signs. And then I gotta do my Instagram shit. But I'm gonna go ahead, let me go ahead. It's been a while since I used my good old trusty deck my good old standard I hope you guys are having a good time I hope how has um, Scorpio season been good for you has it been good for you or has it been crazy because some people have been crazy so I'm kind of seeing what lies ahead for me because I can feel it. I can feel something in the inner. I can feel it. It's intense. I feel like it's so intense this year. I don't know what it is. So let me go ahead. Just gonna be a quick small general collective astrology okay Aries Leo Sag Aries Leo Sag Aries Leo Sag so fire signs Aries Leo Sag deck we have the six of pentacles so there's going to be some kind of giving some take you may be receiving some money some gifts feeling some charitable or somebody's going to be charitable to you but you just kind of have to remember you know don't bite the hand that feeds you so kind of like the overall theme is the knight of pentacles reverse for aries leo sag so for the Knight of Pentacles reverse, there's some like quarreling and fighting. There's some like off, like something is not completely all there. It's like, there's just a, like a minor setback. I feel like it's just like a rough patch with like school, like with kids or something. Or just like a temporary setback within finances. I mean, it is the holiday season coming up. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra, fucking of course, but we have the King of Swords reverse. So whatever information that you receive, somebody was blunt and to the point, and somebody was like, fuck you, I'm cutting you out of my life. Could be like a divorce, could be a court thing that did not go your way. For some of you, it could be like maybe for custody things, maybe like custody did not go, a custody battle, battle did not go your way. We do have the seven of pentacles reverse, is my mama card, it's reverse, okay? So somebody's impatient like a motherfucker and is just putting out sloppy bullshit work because of it. And because we have the eight of chalices reverse, like you're unable to move forward. So for whatever reason, you're unable to move forward. You're still like stuck living in this loop. Some of you can't move forward from like an ending of a relationship. It could be like family, you know, like you miss like the, like you miss your spouse, you miss the kids, things like that. 
something tragic has told you and because of it it's like we have the holly king reverse it's like you are no longer wanting to be single or you know like you know what you want you don't want to be alone or you just you can't you are not comfortable being alone it's like you're afraid you're you're afraid to be comfortable within yourself that's what i'm getting with aries leo sag Some of you are going through like a divorce and you're going through like a rough patch where shit is not going your way at the moment. Okay. Alrighty then. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know if this is a omen or not, but we have like the page of chalices reverse. We have the four of wands and then we have the page of wands. Okay. Kind of interesting. And then the knight of pentacles. So there's definitely for any air signs, if you're looking for employment, you're, there's definitely going to be some work coming your way. Um, if you're going to be um, taking a new job, you're going to be doing some training, you're going to pick up on that without a problem. Um, this is going to be something that you really enjoy, that you really, like you've always wanted to do. Some of you may be just taking this job because it's like, a, you know, somebody that you used to be dating or somebody you were with. Like you're no longer interested, so it's like you have nothing to hold you back or you ended things in order for you to pursue this career. But Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. card that flopped out was the green man reverse so you can't move forward okay this is the full card reverse some of you may be trying to get pregnant but you can't you may be having difficulties there's no liber like you feel restricted you feel restricted with the king of chalices emotionally okay you could be dealing with the libra gemini you could be dealing with excuse me you could be dealing with the pisces cancer or scorpio could also be dealing with the Aries or a Sag. Taurus, possibly too. Or Virgo. But like this water sign, they're completely fucking immature. Okay. It's like this person's like emotionally unstable. They do not have their shit together. This person's fucking gullible as a motherfucker. Like this person is like a complete and total dumbass. Like this is a full on dumbass. That's what these two cards are. With the king of chalices and the green man reverse, they're fucking, it's dumbass. This is a fucking dumbass. A shit for brains. A re-re. What the hell is going on with you guys? With Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, no shit. With that card. What the fuck's going on with you guys? better okay okay bottom of the deck we have the three of wands okay so some of you could be 
leaving a situation, um, a three-party situation possibly, but it, you, things ended on very good terms. Things much better than expected, okay? Um, you could be moving toward, you're moving towards something, moving forward. You're not even looking what's behind you. So you or this person is a fucking dumbass. Okay, we have the world tree, which is the world, like with the world card reverse. So clearly something is not fucking over. Something's not done with this karmic lesson. You could be dealing with this water sign who's a complete and total fucking dumbass. Something's not done. This karmic lesson's not over yet, but we do have a completion with the wheel of fortune, okay? So it's like, this is like, all right, you're not completely done with this book, that you're done with a chapter. So you're on with the next chapter. But this is positive. This is like three to six months of good luck, good fortune, an upswing. You know, there is just like, abundance, joy, really good things are coming your way in the next three to six months, which is fucking good. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be that maybe um, you're having some troubles financially. It could be that some of you may have to move or relocate. Some of you may have lost your job. But there's no beginning. Some of you may be trying to get pregnant or um, trying to get married or trying to like seal the deal in a relationship and that may not be happening at that moment, all right? But good news, we have the ace, um, excuse me, we have the nine of chalices. Yes, your wish is coming true. Your wish is coming true. Everything that you've been manifesting is, is coming into fruition. You've gotta shut the fuck up, relax, and let the universe work itself out. The universe is aligning itself, okay? to your frequency. The universe has heard it's your message and it is granting your wishes. Okay, there is love, joy, happiness there, followed by the six of fucking wands. So you are celebrating, having a good time. You're a motherfucking celebrity, all right? So it could be like, you know what? Some of you could be having like a Mark Zuckerberg thing where it's like, oh, you broke up with me. Oh, I'm gonna lose my job. Well, fuck you. Look at what the fuck's up, bitch. So it's kind of like that. So some of you could be making a water sign look like a fool because you're like, here I am looking like a motherfucking rock star. And here I am moving forward while you a dumbass, right? Right. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you're finding any of this amusing or whatever, please let me know. I have no idea. You guys are like fucking church mice. You gotta be like how I normally am, like on every other the chats. If I'm not like falling asleep, you know I'm making fucking comments. <laughs> Hello, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, you're driving. Okay, you're driving. Oh, Tia, I, when you don't respond, I figure you're driving. <laughs> Woohoo, we have a Pisces in the room. Okay. You need a Taurus? Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, overall feel we have the seven of pentacles reverse we have the mamo card all right so there's no patience okay it's like your patience have worn out you don't even enjoy this shit anymore you're just like fuck it you don't even care if uh it's like you're rushing it like some of you are just like rushing it without enjoying the ride but some of it it's like if you're rushing it 
then it's not only gonna come out shitty, but you might actually scare the person off because you're becoming like too strong or you're coming across like too needy or too demanding. Okay, we definitely have a Taurus on the board and Virgo. but that's fine. I'll take it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands reversed. Okay, this person's fucking trash. They're a cheater. They're a liar. They're fucking scum. Followed by the Battle Wagon reversed, which is a cancer. So somebody's like not moving forward. This person's like unable to commit. Okay. They're a fucking liar. They're just full of shit. They're fucking leading you on. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Sag or a Cancer. So like patience is run fucking thin, just like this card. We have the High Priest, okay? Which is like the Hierophant. Some of you have just been focused on being alone. You want, this is like tradition, commitment, Somebody wants like the real deal, like the whole package. You know, you want to be able to like work and come home and like have your partner there and they like they cook you a nice meal or like, or you cook a nice meal, you know, and you're just spending quality time like the everyday routine like you do at the house. You know, you're sitting on the couch cuddling, watching TV, you know. But that is what is desired. But with the King of Pentacles reverse, like this person, there's no stability. This is like a Taurus. This is like a Virgo. But there's no, there's no stability here though. Somebody wants that commitment and usually the King of Pentacles wants it, but this person's like, no, they do not have their shit together. It's like some of, like somebody may have like a lot of fucking like financial debt. They may not even be, be forthcoming with it. You know, they may be trying to pretend like they live this huge lifestyle but they're unable to, because I mean, we do have a fucking liar here, right? And with the world tree reverse, like this, like this karmic lesson, it's like, it's not over. For whatever reason, it's not over. Somebody's trying to cling on to this, trying to cling on to something that's not wanting to commit. And with the standing stone reverse, which is like, it, it's, um, the justice card so it's like a libra okay so it could be like a divorce or ending of something it's like justice not on your side some of you feel like you've been like screwed over like unjustified like this person drained you like financially or something like they strung you along and they sucked you dry like they sucked you dry like a spider how it would like kill a fly you know sucking them dry But here's the thing, we do have this six of wands. So you're gonna be standing on good ground. Okay, this person is like, you know that they are trash. You are gonna look like a motherfucking rock star though. That's the thing, you are gonna look like a motherfucking rock star. The two of wands reverse, you are no longer investing in this bullshit fucking relationship you're letting that go you're like i'm tired of commuting i'm tired of doing this back and forth bullshit with you i am not your goddamn mother i am not your goddamn maid fuck you and with the five of pentacles you're fucking closing them off okay 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, the Three of Wands popped out for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so things are gonna look better for you. Hi, Raphael. How is your live stream? I need to start playing your music. You're welcome, you're welcome. Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag. Was it a good thing or a bad thing with the energy? The Scorpio season's a little bit weird. I've had, like, today I have somebody on my uh, normal account that's harassing me, or quote-unquote harassing me. They're not, they're not really harassing me. It's just like, it's just like a poor man's version of, like, trolling. And it's because uh, it's a learning experience. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, it was like because like I posted a whole bunch of anti-Trump memes. This person decided to like start posting pictures of myself and like trying to make fun of me for being a liberal. And like they're just doing a shit poor job of it. <laughs> and it's a woman that's uh, a Trump supporter. And of course she's Republican cause all she, like half of her shit is about like fashion lines that are like way too fucking expensive for most people to like afford. But you know, she's just like some like, like, like obese and malnourished, like woman from Tennessee living in her basement somewhere, like eating her thick box of like Hostess cupcakes. So, which there's nothing wrong with being like overweight or anything. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Cause there's nothing wrong with curves. Cause there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Everybody's sexy, men and women, right? Men and women, it don't matter. You can have curves. Hell, I've dated guys with like huge ass fucking guts. So, and guys that were bald, like, so it's like, there's no vanity. Okay, so I should start focusing on Aries Leo Sag. Okay, Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Finally had like a little small vision again last night about like closer to my like premonitions. Okay. Overall feel for you guys. Hell motherfucking yeah, we have the nine of chalices. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Your wish is gonna be coming true. All right, so good fortune. The universe is manifesting your wish. Good fortune, love, happiness, hell motherfucking yeah. So Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag. What are you wishing on? Hell yeah, you guys are seeing a fucking fortune teller. Yo, right? What's going on? This fortune teller rubbed the goat's testicle and told you what was going on and it came true, right? Okay. Man, that fucking Mamo card keeps on wanting to pop up. What the fuck? Everyone has gotten a Mamo card, I think. 
Well, these are way too many cards. I can't use that. Come on, Aries Leo Sag. Be reasonable. Don't be selfish. Don't be a dick. You already have the Nine of Chalices. Okay. is this leading up to? Okay. Alrighty then. The bottom of the deck we have so we have the eight sort of theme. So we have the eight of swords reverse. So you're no longer holding your dick in your hand. Your thumb up your ass. You're finally getting off your ass and doing something with the eight of pentacles reverse so this is something that you don't enjoy so you've just been kind of like you've been fucking miserable doing the same shit day in and day out and you're just fucking tired of it you're tired of being complacent that's what this is i think this is like a work reading like career so you're motherfucking finally getting your tr wish to come true so you're tired of being you're tired of being impatient you're like fuck this noise i feel like you're looking for a job or you're like, you're ending something like ending like a marriage or something, but you're tired of investing time or energy and in either into this job or like a relationship. Okay. Or it could be like investing like company. Maybe you have ties, like maybe you're contracted, you're stuck in a contract with them, something like that, but there's going to be a delay. But we have the four of wands, okay? So this is like not only love and everything, it could be like finding romance in the workplace, but this is like big success and work. And then we have the O King, you could be dealing with the Pisces here. This is like the hangman. But there's a decision that needs to be made. I feel like for some of you, it's like you're gonna quit, like you're getting tired of your job. You're gonna like, start looking elsewhere you're gonna start getting a whole bunch of offers like really good offers they're gonna be tempting and then you're gonna have to fucking weigh off your options because you're no longer sitting off your ass because it's like i fucking hate what i do fuck that noise yeah and then we have the six of wands so you're gonna be like successful yas 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 that is hella fucking cool hella cool Alrighty then, thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys are super cool. Um, tomorrow, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I will be here live to do the unboxing and readings with this with the Sawyer's Path. And then Thursday, the eighth, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time on YouTube, I will go live to do the unboxing and readings for the Moon Power Tarot. So it's gonna be totally amazing, balls. You should be there. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. And mahalo, bitches.